Well, hi, Jeremy Hansen here again for Life on the Farm. And I have the pleasure today of being at Heartland Farms near Hancock. And with me today is Jeremy Pavelski. Um, Jeremy, you're, you're one of the uh, um, managers here. What is Heartland Farms? Yeah, so Heartland Farms is a fifth generation potato farm. Um, so our roots date back to 1873 when my great great grandfather emigrated from Poland uh, and we've been farming ever since. It's in our blood. Uh, we love farming. We employ uh, full time about 150 team members uh, and seasonally we'll actually add in about another 150 to 200 for driving truck and getting harvest done. So it takes a lot of people to actually grow and manage potatoes here in central Wisconsin. And how many acres of potatoes do you grow? Yeah, we grow over 9,000 acres of potatoes and we farm about 27,000 acres in total because we're on a three-year rotation. Okay, with that rotation, what is the typical three-year rotation? Yeah, so you'll have potatoes on a field one year and then you'll have peas or beans on it the next year and sweet corn. Um, sometimes carrots will be in there or field corn. So uh, it really depends on the particular year, um, but we're always rotating to make sure that we can maintain soil health. But 9,000 acres of potatoes, what do you do? Where, where do these potatoes go? Yeah, all of our potatoes are really going for uh, making potato chips. So there's different segments of the potato industry. You got the fresh market, the process, and then the chipping uh, as well as seed. So uh, chipping potatoes uh, go for making potato chips. Process goes for uh, making French fries, tater tots, those types. And the fresh market would be what you'd see if you go to a grocery store. And they're all different varieties of potatoes. It's very unique here in Wisconsin. There's a lot of different chip manufacturers. So um, if you're eating a potato chip in Wisconsin, there's a good chance it's our potato. So Jeremy, we're in a very impressive room here. What is the room we're standing in right now? Yeah, so this is our farm operations control center. Um, we also uh, kind of stole the term from uh, an 80s movie. This is kind of our war room uh, where we really can have full visibility into what's going on across the farm and help make the best decisions possible for the farm um, to be as efficient and as productive as we can be. So what, can you give me a specific of what one function, one small function of this room would be? Yeah, so one small function, uh, right behind us, um, we have what's called base station, and that would allow us to control, start and stop any one of our irrigation systems um, right from here. So it's all remotely controlled. We can also, um, each one of our irrigation operators has the same information on their iPad. So, uh, you know, we're not just sitting in this room, um, you know, all the time. It, we're a farm. We're out in the fields um, actually, you know, getting done what needs to get done. But this also allows us the visibility in here to, um, to really understand what's going on and help direct people um, the way that uh, to, to do what needs to get done. And you mentioned irrigation, and as we were driving over here today, a um, lot of irrigation rigs out here. How many acres are under irrigation here? Oh, for Heartland Farms, every acre. Um, well, pretty much in the central sands, any farming or any farmland has to be irrigated because our soils are so sandy that um, our water holding capacity is, oh, about half an inch, maybe just a little bit more. So two days of no rain and it's, it's dry. And you protect that soil. I, and driving up here today, saw a lot of cover crops. So I'm sure, I'm assuming after harvest, you have multiple cover crops on many of your acres. Yeah, pretty much any field, um, as soon as it gets harvested, it's gonna have a cover crop planted. Again, with the sandier soils here in the, the central sands, um, if you don't have a cover crop, it's just gonna turn into a, a dust bowl for the most part. Well, it's great today to be at a world-class uh, facility such as this at Heartland Farms. And really, they're, our lead, they're leaders in sustainability, technology, and conservation. And one of the reasons why I'm here as well is Fox Valley Tech considers Heartland Farms as a partner. Um, they hire a ton of our graduates and are always looking for um, graduates of ours to fill, mm. fill uh, positions. So thank you very much. So for Life on the Farm, this is Jeremy Hansen.